All right, guys. Well, welcome to my new ham shack. Um, I got most of what I want done. Let's see. So we have all this stuff here, and then we have the table here for the testing and the reviews. And usually I don't get on the camera, but, but we're trying to get the channel going, do a little better. So today we're going to review um, a UV-17 variation. This particular one ships with two antennas. And um, I don't know if I left everything in the box or not. Um, let's see here. Need the CIA earpiece cable, screwdriver, um, the antenna. I need to put all this stuff, like, basically, I like to keep all this stuff in the same spot, but anyway. So it comes with two antennas, and this antenna here is marked 144-220-435. Now, I, I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see that, but I want to make sure that you do, so that you know One forty four two twenty four thirty five and it says a Brie on it. Okay. This radio is sold by a Brie. So it has Welcome. the color screen. I don't know what it puts out on two twenty. Um but it's unlocked. And it has 999 memories. It's not the UVL. It has the USB on the back of the battery. So, what we're going to do here is I have this fairly accurate old Radio Shack Micronta. And We're going to put it on here, and let me come around the other side. Okay. So, the screen oh. is unviewable. Oh. Sounds a little distorted. Okay. We are. Um, let's see, we're on 15 watt scale. It's 5 watts. Okay. Let's see. Okay. About. Three watts. Let's go. Two, two, three, four, zero, zero. Wow. Now I don't know if this meter is right. Let me zoom in for you guys. Okay, you see that? It's showing over five watts. On 220. I've never seen any of these radios do that much. Um, so, I, I don't know if this is completely accurate, to be honest with you, but like, so let me go back here and So, I don't know much about 440. I don't use it. Four, four, six, zero, zero, zero. 
So it's pretty low on that. So if you do GMRS, that's where it's going to be at. That is below the three watt mark. Um, now I don't know what other frequencies are of interest on this radio. Oh, and I didn't realize I'm absolutely zoomed in. So you'll have to listen to what I'm saying to to see what I was just showing you. Let me let me zoom it back out. So. Uh, I was on four six two five seven five, so anyway, um, but but basically to wrap this video up real quick, um, we're seeing about three watts or so on four forty. We're seeing about five watts on two twenty, and we're seeing about five watts on two meters. And if I'm not mistaken, the radio might have more than one power level. Nope. Okay, so this is just your normal uh, high and low. Power. Yeah, high and low. Okay, so just high and low. Okay, but it's unlocked. It is programmable on Chirp using the UB17 Pro with Chirp Next. That is a game changer for this radio. Okay, let me get this thing off of here. This 220 antenna is cool. It's longer than uh, your other type of antenna. Let me uh, show you. Um, okay, it comes with this one. And then here's a uh, AR771, a different uh, a Brie one. So the antenna is about that much longer. I don't know if there's maybe like a coil in the end of it, but it's different. And so, it says it's for 220. So, this radio here, when I bought it, was $29 with a $2 coupon. Um, it didn't pop up until after Black Friday. Otherwise, I would have probably ordered one then. Um, they were selling an orange version of this radio with a you know plain screen. Then they sold a black version sold by Ray Dottity with a color screen. And no USB-C. So, which brings me to my next review, which is going to be on this one, which has no USB-C, is locked, and, uh, you know, it's very similar. So, catch me on the next video for a review on that. Thanks for watching, guys. 73.